Hello and welcome back to the Forever Winter. What are we doing tonight? Well, I've got some quests of a killing nature that I want to get through. And I think it's time I got a bit more killy in general. At some point, maybe not this video, but in a very uh, in a video that's coming up soon, I hope is that I'd like to start using the um, M49, as that was called. Oh, it's a pistol. Uh, how can I... Oh, yeah, yeah, the M79, pardon me. Sawed off pistol, which is not a pistol. It's a grenade launcher. It's a little handheld firecracker launcher. Um, I have used this a little bit already. Uh, it was... A pretty recent acquisition. It's taken me a very long time to finally get my hands on one of these. I've been playing for hours now and I never got around to completing the quest, Aerial Scavenge, until quite recently. Completed it, got this as a prize. It's great. My shaman actually has some, has access to some heavier, heavy artillery, some explosives. Um, explosive damage, armor penetrating damage. This is great. This is this, you know, just what I need. And now it's just a matter of um, doing that quest a few more times. So I have some M79 just sitting in the back pocket. I don't have to worry about losing this one that I have. But for now, um, I've got some of these lower end hunting. Uh, quests. I have to just uh, kill off European armed forces. Doesn't matter who it is, who or what it is, as long as they're European. Uh, destroy cyborgs. That's straightforward enough. And uh, destroy three assaulters in Scorched Enclave. Uh, I've already killed one, so I'm, I just need to do two more. So um, I know I've been playing Scorched Enclave. Quite a bit recently. I kind of took a break to, to hang out in Scrapyard Nexus, uh, Elephant Mausoleum, and uh, what's your place called? Mech Trenches. And then uh, in the last video, I spent a lot of time in Scorch Enclave. I'm gonna go back to Scorch Enclave. It's a it's a nice little map, uh, and I think one of the one of these quests requires I be there anyway. This one. So let's look for the assaulters. It should be no problem finding uh, any European or any, any of these cyborgs on, on the map as well. So uh, going in with uh, not the M79, um, I don't think I need it for my uh, targets. So I will be um, going in with the shotgun, AA-12, and the uh, ever-reliable AK, uh, AK rifle. AK-47, whatever. They just say AK. Uh, I'm gonna go in a bit more ammo for the shotgun. Can never be too, uh... Never be too safe. I'm not worried about looting. That's one thing I've, uh... Learned from watching some other players is that they go into a raid with... A focus. If they go in with the intent of looting, then they pack less ammo, get a bag that's going to carry more loot, more large items if that's what they're going for, or just more more general space for small items. Uh, if they go out with the intent on killing, then why not pack as much ammo as possible? I've actually been very conservative with the amount of ammo I bring into a mission, uh, but that's because I don't really do a lot of killing. My, my intent is usually just to loot as much as possible, do a quest or two if I can, and just extract. But like I said, I want to get more killy. So let's get killy. Oh, I gotta change the um, spawn point, the entry point. Uh, I tried bunkers, it's weird. <laughs> the bunkers uh, entry point is strange. I'm not quite a fan of it yet. So we'll just go with the old reliable cemetery. I think I brought enough healing. 
Maybe I should have brought more healing. Anyway, if my intent is not to loot, only to kill, I should have just filled my rig with ammo and healing, to be honest. Every run tells a slightly different story. Yeah, I could have brought more healing. If I have a chance to loot healing items, then I will, I will loot medical supplies for sure. Oh. Here we are. I don't want booze. Do a laptop. Tool case, yes. Schematics, yeah. Okay. Who have we got here? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, AK ammo, I'll take. Who's uh who's trigger happy down down here? Who's this? Where's that sniper? I really hate not being able to uh, switch weapons. Once you get into the reload animation, you can't switch weapons. I did not watch my six there, that was my fault. All right. Take the walk of shame back to my tombstone. Pretty easy to find. See, I was, um, I really wish I'd took, taken out the sniper first, the, the sniper and the spotter. And uh, I was too slow and I just took out the spotter. And I was waiting for the sniper to come back around the corner, but, oops. Drop something in the office here. Everything's falling down. Should I take to my uh, walk of shame? Let's see here. I don't understand this gun. This VKS. With the fancy uh, subsonic rounds. Why is there only five rounds in the uh, magazine? <laughs> I, I need that explained. 
Um, let's see, let's go for the M4. Because I'm going to grab my stuff, but I still want to be able to just keep killing things. Uh, let's go on with like a... Okay, magazine. It's going for... That's one 60. 60 uh, clips in the magazine. That's good. Pistol grip. Go for some even more accuracy, I guess. That just one, that one just looks better. <laughs> per receiver, again, more accuracy. Sure. Stock. It just zeroes out the accuracy gains <laughs> I got from the other attachments. If I get this, so. I, um, more damage would be good. Yeah, I just hate not being able to. That's like a fundamental thing for shooters: is that you you run dry, not run dry, but you need to reload. Reload animation generally slower than just switching weapons you just uh, drop your weapon pull up the sidearm or pull up whatever gun you have slung over your shoulder and keep firing instead of reloading but in this game once you start reloading you're just stuck reloading um, it's quite annoying intentional I'm sure but yeah I don't know it's it does not allow for situations where you can react to being ambushed uh, very well what is the purpose of none of these actually change anything or if they do that it's not shown so I don't know Optics. Let's go for like a standard. Let's try this E-Tech X XP. It's kind of like a fatter red dot sight. And I don't know what's going on with these things. Muzzle. I don't know. Let's just save. Looks looks nice. So if they have four, yeah, I'm gonna find my preset. That's my preset. Equip. What ammo is it? 556. M4. I got a decent amount. Yeah, I got a decent amount of uh, 556. Backup. My sidearm, should I just bring like a regular pistol? Not very, um, if I'm, if I'm in a killing mood, I really gotta bring some heavy hitters. So I'll bring the, uh, Vepper. Shame. Life finds a way, even here. <laughs> what are you gonna fix this hand? The shaman's hand. Okay, it's not an issue there. 
I'm I'm preferring the over the shoulder more and more. I guess with most weapons. Stuck in the reload animation again. Son of a gun. Oh. I'll take your... Oh, assaulters? They hurt the... they hurt the ruckus. But I'm not I'm not interested in uh, engaging them. Beef the Euroskins right now. They're not on my uh, most wanted list. Okay, well, mercy killing is done. for a loot box. Yeah, I sure will grab some Patience water. Patience is a virtue. box is not here. It's a shame. Door opens. Oh, they took down the drone so quickly. Who's shooting me? It will pass. You guys gonna fight or what? Are you serious? Oh, there.
I really dislike that. I'm trying to uh, reload. to reload and then they make me interact with an object. Okay. Time to get out of here. I'm no longer safe in this zone. You guys fight. You guys fight. Oh. Eurasian. Where are the assaulters? guys are occupied over there. soldier radio chatter I would like to know where the assaulters are Might get lucky if I uh, hang out near the extraction point. I just generally do not like milling around the center of the map. There's just too many angles. That's why I always have my little route here. Try to make some tanks. I, I, I'm not gonna leave completely empty-handed. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no. Uh... Oh, the the. Oh shit! What? What? <laughs> I came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere, the guy, the mech, came out of nowhere and punched me. Just as I was about to extract. Or at least I was gonna hide out in the pipe to do a little peekaboo action. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I almost can't be mad at that. Okay, well, I think for my return oh man so i'm out like two sets of equipment now okay this is getting annoying i was thinking if i pick the bunker entry point then i'm a little bit closer uh to the to, to my tombstone, but then I have to extract way over on the other side. 
I do not like the placement of the extraction point when you spawn from bunker on Scorched Enclave. It's just so way out of nowhere. I, the first time I got there, I was like, what the hell? It's another pipe, but um, yeah, it's just way out in the middle of nowhere. And the, lo the last time I went there, there were quite a lot of mechs hanging around. And I don't know if I'm in the mood to get to get randomly punched or stomped by another mech tonight. Hmm. Now, who am I gonna run? Okay, so instead of running Shaman, why don't I run Big Boy? No, let's just run Shaman again. I'll, I'll pack a little bit lighter. I believe it factors in to like pick up your tombstone. I hope to God that when I pick up my tombstone again, it's got everything that I lost on my previous two runs. I really hope so. Like I'll get all this stuff back. Okay, um... Another decent gun I can bring is the M16. SVD, marksman style. I try that. The only bad thing is. I do have a suppressor on it. Bad thing is I don't have any optics. First time I ever got SVD, uh, I could just trick it out to the max. But ever since then, um, have I not been picking up the right attachments out in the field? Or I don't know what gives. It's impossible to buy, know what you're buying in terms of attachments when you're at the vendors. Things are just not labeled well all right so that'll be our primary and uh it's the uh what <coughs> excuse me oh what is the ammo again 54r and i always have trouble picking it out from the crowd this one And for backup, oh my god, I just get a pistol. Sure, I'll try the SOG. And it's uh, 45 ACP. Sure. Man, oh man, oh man. I didn't even get a chance to use healing because I just got one shot. Yeah, um, let's just go with this. And then I'll just spawn from, screw it, I'll just spawn from uh, cemetery again. Just because where I pick up my tombstone is pretty much where I can extract. Done and done, right? I just make a beeline this time. Cemetery. So I won't go ultra killy on this surround. I will show a lot more restraint. I'll just focus on retrieving my tombstone. I really don't want to be stacking up tombstones on this map tonight. Our choices matter for those below. Ain't no Borgs. Nice. Now 
no matter how frustrating or weird or janky this game gets, I still really enjoy playing it, I gotta say. Like, there's something compulsive about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. The vibes have sort of worn off now after a few weeks of the game being out. Like, I still enjoy the vibes, the aesthetics, it's great. But the, definitely the, the initial novelty of that has, has worn off quite a while ago. So what's left? What's left is the game itself and just learning the ins and outs. Stick my head out, see who spawns. Mech. Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh dear. Oh, he's shooting at somebody else. Holding my breath a little bit, a little bit, when when that squad was coming up the way there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna circle around the pipe. Ah, stupid drones. All right, all right, let's. Yes, sir. Oh shit. Okay, I'm out of here. Still alive. For now. Hey, I got my shit back. Beautiful. That in itself is, is, what was I going to say, a completed quest, yes. Alright, so, let's move everything back to stash, that's my beautiful stuff. Yay! My precious AA-12. Never leave my side, you hear me? Alright, so, uh, cash in this, uh, let's cash in this junk. I get a heavy machine gun! More water, whoopee. I know what you're gonna say already. Bye-bye. And a mercy killing. Get a U another USP pistol. Give me. All right. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab more Killy quests, and then on uh, the second part of this video, I'm gonna break this up. Second part of this video, I will proceed to uh, do those, go hunting again, and do those other uh, killing quests. But let me uh, find some good ones. Hunter killers means I need to really provoke the battlefield. I'm I'm hesitant to do this one without a group. If I'm being completely honest, hunt the hunters. 
Now this is a good excuse for me to use my uh, M49. Go after some exos. Our young soldiers witness European exo troops butchering their kin and see them as gods of the battlefield, untouchable. This is unacceptable to us. We need to inspire our young forces by setting an example. Destroy three of these European exos and bring us pieces of their mechanical corpses as proof. Prove that only false gods bleed. I don't even know if I've ever seen these units before, but they're in Scrapyard Nexus, so maybe I have. I just haven't spent a whole lot of time milling about. That's not that true. I did team up with somebody over the weekend. It was actually quite fun. We did a few runs in Scrapyard Nexus. Communicating only via text chat in game. I wish I remember your name, sir. Uh, but it, yeah, that's uh, that's some good that's good some good fun there. Tormentor, this guy looks fun. <laughs> uh, gold brick, I've heard of gold brick. He's a sniper. Where does gold brick hang out? I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, so I do have an option to go for Gold Brick. So that was under the Western Embassy quest. Oh, not this one again. I should have a slightly different one. I might go for this one, actually. Brawler. Yeah, brawlers are scary. Yeah, I did Mercy Clay. So this one's cold, it hurts, so I can go after any. Eurasian Forest. I have to kill a lot more of them, though, I think. Oh, let's go for this one, then. I'm not supposed to say anything about this, but let's just say that there are people within our organization who think Eurasia is becoming too strong. Oh, I think I've read this before. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, so on the next outing, I'm going to uh, take shaman out for a hunting excursion i'm going to use my m49 there it is m79 pardon me these names grenade launch is 40 millimeter Oh, they, these weigh a lot, eh? They, uh, yeah, that's how you, they keep you in line. <laughs> that's how they keep you in line. Um, shotgun for the primary. Oh, I need more shotgun ammo. This won't do. I need more shotgun ammo. I'll patronize uh, Aramaki here since I killed off some of his friends. Oh, whatever. That's enough ammo. I should save some room for uh Did I lose some of these standard first aid kits? It feels like I did. Oops, don't want SIGs. Sure. There we go. Yeah, so this is gonna be my loadout for when I go hunting on the next uh, episode. So if you watched up to this point, thank you so much. 
please drop a like, consider subscribing if you had fun watching this, if this pleases you, and do leave a comment. I do enjoy reading your comments and try to reply to every one of them. Until next time, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.